Hello, hello, hello. Hey, I don't know if this is going on. I hope can, uh, where's my phone? We're just getting started here. This is Gene Tagaban for our uh, wellness, native wellness um, power hour. So uh, I just wanted to know, someone text me out there, or give me a heads up. Are you, can you see me or, or anything? I'm just uh, just looking at myself on the screen. And uh, um, and so we're just, uh, this is our first one. And, and I am very, 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 non-technical so I need a message that you're actually people are actually seeing me out there maybe I'll text you and so oh you can't see me all right right on cool 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 All right, people are like texting me going, yeah, we can see ya. All right. Hey, my name's Gene Tagaband. Uh, I'm with the Native Wellness Institute. And um, yeah, we just wanted to provide something for the people out there. We're a non-native, uh, a non-profit institute here and, and just bringing that, uh, uh, you know, just bringing healing to the people. Just talking about the impacts of in, uh, historical trauma and, and just being trauma informed, bringing that healing to the people, you know. And we're as a as an institute, we're wondering what can we do. And so we just came up with this idea: let's get online, man, and let's start sharing our services online. Um, and so, uh, one of our our the purpose of why we're out there is just to uh, keep our ancestral teachings alive. You know, in the best way we can in this here modern day world that we live in, you know, and and, uh, and this is our, again, our contribution to what's going on out there in the world. Everyone's like uh, kind of uh, on edge, anxiety, you know, a little, little fearful. And, and um, we just want to bring that, that good spirit out there to the people, eh? You know, and, and so um, here we are online, man. Indians online, Indians on, 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 uh, on, out there in the cyber world and then this is our this is our cyber way of doing things i guess you know and, and it's awesome um you know we just want to bring that wisdom about mental emotional physical and spirituality to you and and so my way of, of contributing is uh through stories and we just want to kick this off by uh, telling some stories and we're gonna um i see a lot of people are, are on and they're watching so we're just as as people get on here and um i'm just going to play a little music and you know and and just set the vibe here and set the vibration and 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 go on as, as we're here i'm going to wait for a few more people because i know there's a lot of people wanted to come on and they're um there's just uh you know how indians are man they're just like trying to figure things out too and, and which button to push so i'm just going to blow a little bit of breath bring it out there to you <laughs> Hey, um, 
So we'll get started here. I see a lot of people on it and right on, you know, just let's spread the word. And that's that's all we're doing here is just getting that, that spirit out there. And so uh, with that, I just want to sing this song, man. And um, the song I sing is I sing this song again. I just want, I'm going to ask you to um, just to think about your ancestors. Think about the land where your ancestors came from, the mountains, the trees, the rivers, as I sing this song. Think about the animals that were there during those times. Um, and just give thanks to our ancestors, you know, it's because, because of our ancestors, you know what, we've been dreamt into existence. We've been dreamt into existence, and here we are right now, man. And um, I love that. I love that, that thought. I love that, that vision that those old, 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 great, 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 great ancestors. And they they were dreaming of me. They were dreaming of me and had this vision of me. And here I am. And why are we doing this? Because we're dreaming the future generations into existence as well. As we tell these stories, as we share, and you know, and you know, I I see a a few people out there, you know, and, and they're watching, you know, my cousins out there and, and you know, there's a uh, there's some of my uh, my sisters and, and brothers out there too. They're gonna have children of their own right now and they're dreaming their, their children into existence. So as I sing this song, just think of your ancestors. Think of that land that came from the mountains, you know, and just go to that place just for a moment, just to give yourself a little bit of peace of mind. You know and there's some of you are thinking to yourself that maybe, you know, you don't know where you came from because we have this, this stolen generation, Jay. And they don't know where the land of their ancestors come. And that, I just say, you know, think of a sunrise. Think of a sunset. Think of a place out in nature. Or maybe a place that you've always dreamed of going. And maybe that's your ancestors, your DNA talking to you, whispering to you, you know, just saying to you, I am here, I am here, I am here. So as we get kicked off here, um, just think of that. As we all come together at, in, in, in this here cyber land, you know, we all get on that same uh, energy, that same vibe as I sing this, you know, and, and it doesn't matter if you're you're native or even non-native, you know, we all have that ancestral land where we come from. Think of it. Take yourself there as I sing this song. Thanks, just thanks for our, our ancestors and and, uh, and just the food that we have and the many blessings that we have right now and our health. Our health is so important right now too. Right? And those those uh, warriors, the frontline warriors, are out there who are are, are uh, um, giving their lives, eh? You know, doing the best that they can. You know, keep them safe. Put that 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 uh, sphere of energy around them. You know, and that those good thoughts, those good thoughts out there, eh? You know, and so um, with that, you know, and always just go out there, just give thanks to your ancestors. We've been dreamt into existence, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So, um, my name is Gene Tagaban. My Shanket name is Gayao. I'm of the Duck Dane Tan clan, the Raven Freshwater Sockeye clan from Huna, Alaska. I'm the child of a Wishkaton, Eagle Shark clan from Al Juan in Juneau, Alaska. Uh, the, the grandchild of a Thunderbird. I am Cherokee Shinket 
and Filipino. I'm a chair a clink a pino. That means I, I eat my sandwich with rice and cornbread. But that's a little bit of who I am on my clink side. I'm also Cherokee on uh, my mom's side. Her maiden name is Summerfield, but she traced our lineage back before the Trail of Tears, back to this place that they now call Georgia and Tennessee and North Carolina. And on the, uh, my Cherokee side, I'm of the Wolf Clan. I'm also part Filipino. And my grandfather, he comes from Bantoc, and my great-grandfather comes from El Locos Norte. And that's where my, my name is, is a Tagaban. In the Philippines, it's pronounced as Tagaban. But that's a, a, some of my ancestors and, and who I am. And I'm here just to share some stories with you, you know, and I'm going to share some of the stories. Some of you have heard these stories, and that's okay, you know, and, and uh, um, you know, as, as kids, they can sit there and listen to the same story over and over and over again. You know, I just wanted to share some of my favorites and, you know, later on I'll, I'll be back on and I'll share some new stories, some new stories that I've written. But um, at this time, I just want to uh, have a few stories uh, in my, my pouch here. And so I want to ask you, and you, some of you heard this, how many of you are storytellers? Yeah, some of you just say with that little voice in your mind. Yeah, the little voice that you said, what little voice? The little voice said, how do you know I'm the little voice? Because we all have that little voice. And when I ask you that, that question, how many of you are storytellers? Some of you said, mm, I don't know, I might be a story. Ah, I think I'm a story. And some of you just raise your eyebrows and say, yeah, yeah, I'm a storyteller. You know, it's because my papa, my papa, he told me, he goes, now son, now son, you're a story. Pa papa, what? What you mean? I'm, I'm a story? Yeah, son, you you a storyteller. I'm a story. I'm a storyteller, Papa. Yeah, your life is a story. I'm a storyteller, Papa. I'm a story. My life's. A... What you talking about, Papa? Well, I'm gonna tell you, son. You know, you see, it all started before you were born. That you. What well, we'll turn about, Papa? Story, story. Tell him. Or my life is story. What's wrong, Papa? Papa, Papa, Papa. What about what about the animals? What about the the wolves, the bears, the killer whales, the deer, and the mice? Are they stories? Are they storytellers too, Papa? What about what about the mountains, the trees, the rocks, the rivers? Are they stories? Are they storytellers too, Papa? Papa, Papa, Papa. What about the what about the stars, the moon, and the sun? Just like going raving back to the people. Are they stories? Are they storytellers too, Papa? Papa, Papa, <gasps> Papa. What about our cat? Is our cat, our cat, Papa, our cat, is our cat a story, Papa, 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 what do you mean, Papa, Papa, why, 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 Papa, why, 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 Holy, just hold on there, just a moment there, grandson, holy, you are story, you storyteller, before you were born, your story was there. And then you got born, you start to come to life, you start to breathe, son. Oh, one day you crawl around, your story crawl, and you walk, your story walk, and then you run, your story's running, your story's alive, son. One day, son, you're going to go to school and you're going to graduate. And then from there, you go to middle school, junior high, or, or whatever they call it now, you graduate from there. And then from there, you go to high school, get good education, graduate. Maybe you go to college, get education there. Maybe you go to vocational school, get education. Maybe you go spend some time with your, your elders, the teachers, and you get education there. Oh, you storytellers, son. Yes, yes. The rocks, the trees, the mountains are stories, too. The animals, the bear, the deer, the wolves are stories. The stars, moon, and sun, you are that story, son. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your cat is a story, too. You're a storyteller. Now, you, your life, you tell a good story. That way you get my age. You got something to talk about. Now, you go get me a cup of coffee and a cookie. You see... We're all storytellers, and our life is a story. And now I'm part of your story, and you're part of my story. And everything that's going around us in this world right now, we're all part of that story. So tell a good story. Tell a good story.
And I'm here to share a few stories with you. So this is one of my favorite stories around. And favorite is a word. I learned that from a little kid. He goes, tell me my favorite story. I said, favorite isn't a word. Well, if it's not a word, then what is it? So this is one of my favorite stories. And I'm going to start off with this one. Many of you have heard it. And, and I got this story from Larry Littlebird from uh, his uh, 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 Pueblo. One of my teachers, man. And, and you want to hear a story. One day I hope to grow up to be like Larry Littlebird to be a storyteller. But uh, some of you heard this story. And it goes like this. A long time ago, all the animals gathered together to have a meeting. Now there was bear, mountain lion, eagle, raven, grandmother mouse was there. All the animals were there. And it was mountain lion who was in charge of the meeting. So mountain lion stepped forward and went, <coughs> My brothers and sisters, it's so good that you're here. We have many important things to talk about. They were just about to start that meeting, and then they heard Rabbit outside singing as loud as he could. Nobody could hear a thing. And so Mountain Lion goes out there and says, Hey, hey Rabbit, shh, we're trying to have a meeting in there. But Rabbit kept singing away. And so Mountain Lion goes, whoo, whoo, ah, took Rabbit's arm and put it into his back pocket. Ah, you can have that back later when we're done. Now let's get on with this meeting. And Rabbit was outside with only one arm. They were just about to start the meeting again. And then they heard Rabbit outside drumming away with only one arm. Nobody could hear a thing. Ah, this time it was Brother Bear. <clears throat> Brother Bear goes, Hey, Rabbit, we're trying to have a meeting in there. But Rabbit kept singing away. <laughs> and so Bear goes, <laughs> took Rabbit's other arm and put that into his back pocket. Ah, you can have that back later when we're done. Now let's get on with this meeting. And Rabbit was outside with no arms. They were just about to start the meeting again. And then they heard Rabbit outside, stomping away with his feet. Stomping away, dancing away. This time it was Coyote. Hey, Rabbit, shh. Come on, brother. We're trying to have a meeting in there. But Rabbit kept singing away. And so Coyote goes, took Rabbit's leg and put that into his back pocket. Ah, you can have that back later when we're done. Arrgh! Maybe. And Rabbit was outside, no arms, only one leg. They were just about to start that meeting again. And then they heard Rabbit outside, drumming away with that big old fluffy rabbit tail of his. Nobody could hear a thing. This time it was Eagle. Eagle rises up out of his chair, circles over Rabbit. Everyone's going, Rabbit, shh, man, it's Eagle, man, it's Eagle. But Rabbit was too busy singing away. So Eagle comes down. Picks up Rabbit. Everyone's going, oh no, Rabbit. And then Eagle goes, whoop, whoop, took Rabbit's head. I know. Everyone went, oh, man, that hurt. And then they heard Rabbit singing a song. It's coming from his heart. Because Rabbit's song is coming from his heart. And when you sing from your heart, when you're following your heart, nobody can take that away from you. And so, he gave Rabbit his head back. He gave Rabbit his two arms back. They had to wrestle Coyote. 
It goes like that. Then let Rabbit sing his song whenever he wanted to. Sing with me. So, to follow your heart, to follow your heart, that song, I, I, I want to say, I give you permission to tell that story. I asked Larry years ago if I could, I could uh, tell that story, and, you know, and he said, yeah, give other people, let pe the people tell that story, but tell it in your way, tell it in your way, you know, in a good way. You know, that song, that song is a, a song of joy, a song of celebration, because I want to say that is like, our music is medicine. And during this time, you know, sometimes we get our minds so filled up with, with so many things, you know, and, and uh, that to sing, to learn, learn a song, just one song, even if it's just, I ya hunt the hay, I ya hunt the hay, I ya hunt the hay, ay, 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 and fill your mind with that music, because our music is medicine, because it goes from your mind all the way through your body, into your heart, into your chest, all the way down to your toes when we're singing our songs, singing our music. So to sing, sing. And just like a, just like rabbit, you know, and, and many times in our, our lives, we just want to like, it's like we're like this here eagle feather, like, I hunt the hay, I hunt the hay, I hunt the hay, hey, hey. We just want to live our lives. And one thing I want to say is that the teaching is, uh, that I learned that is that the eagle, the eagle is one of the beings that flies closest, way up there in the sky to the creator. To the creator that spirit world up there and when you see that eagle doing circles in the sky it's opening up a door a pathway for your dreams your prayers your wishes or maybe you have a heavy heart your heaviness to go up to go up and go into and through it's opening up that door and then you'll see that eagle suddenly will just fly away. And who knows, maybe that eagle is just there for you. Maybe you're the only one who saw that. Out of all those people around, you're the only one who's looking up. Because that eagle is opening that door just for you. So pay attention to that. Because as we live our lives, we just want to go like be rabbit. Oh, yeah, hunt the hay. We just want to just go out there and be ourselves. But so many things going on nowadays. So many things like there's there's the the, the, the hurts, the illnesses, the fears, the, the traumas that are going on. And then even during this time, sometimes like we get stuck and, and caught up in the alcohol and the drugs and the despair, you know, and, and all those things and, and yeah, the abuses that are going on out there and we get we get so frazzled you know and, and our, our our just like this 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 eagle feather this beautiful feather and I know some of you are like are are going what the heck did he just do to that sacred feather I'll tell you what because we are sacred beings and how many of you have ever felt tore up like this how many of you have ever felt uh, with your 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 feathers were frazzled a bit yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And so, but if we just like take some time just to connect, connect just like this with other people, sing your songs, learn your music, and if you don't know a song, go ask. This is a perfect time, opportunity to ask, call out, reach. Somebody teach me a song. Can someone teach me a song? Can someone tell, teach me a story? You know, one thing that's not, that's not, that's, that's going on out there is like air our breath outside just to get outside and breathe man i tell you what it's been uh, a joy for me to go outside in the mornings and listen to the birds let that sun shine down even if it's raining let that rain shine down on you you know and reach out and and grow and do whatever it takes you know to to be a better person a better human being and to to grow to be that elder that elder one day you see if we go on that path things will come back together. You know, I had a teacher tell me this one time, and you know, in fact, I think it was Thea who, who pointed this out, um, that what she saw is, is, that the, was, is that the feather, its DNA remembers 
who it is. And his DNA remembers how to be. And because of that, he'll all his feathers will always go back together because it remembers who it is. So just be like that rabbit, man. Sing your songs. Sing your songs. Go out there and share some spirit. Even though everyone wants to tell you to be quiet or stop, whatever it is, you know, and just share it because that's who we are as people. That's who we are as people. Uh, good night, Cheesh. Thank you for listening to me at that moment for that time. So right on, it's, it's uh, awesome to see so many people out there. I see my sister Theta's out there, and, and you know, hey, Squake, Squake, hey, good to see you. Holy, oh, I haven't seen you in a long time. Tell your mom I said hi, and your family and everybody. Been thinking about you and praying for you, too. Just seeing all these your people going on, and, you know, and, and uh, oh, Steve, hey, good to see you, brother. Yeah, I'm toasting. Water, water. Water is life. Antone, Antoinette. Ah, I know my wife right now is probably watching me. She's going, will you just stop slurping and like just drink your water and it's even really, really cheesy, right? And now, uh, but so to my wife, Ruby, love you. <laughs> so, see, rabbit is the trickster amongst the Cherokee people. And I love those rabbit stories. And, you know, there's many, many of those rabbit stories. Um, up in Alaska, I, um, I grew up with another trickster. And uh, my clan, I'm of the Raven clan up there in Alaska. And, and Raven is the trickster up there. The black bird, the big black one, the wise one, the foolish one. You know, and, and uh, if you've ever seen those, um, uh, those ravens up there, man, they're just, they're crazy. They're crazy, those ravens. And uh, they're, they're like no other place. I want to share with you this story that I, I grew up with. I grew up listening, you know. It was awesome growing up in, in Alaska, growing up in schools. I remember when I was in kindergarten, we'd have uh, storytellers coming into the schools, our native storytellers, and just sharing the stories to, to all the kids, to all the kids. And uh, grew up listening to those. And I remember even in, in fourth grade that, uh, you won't find that nowadays, but we started carving. They brought in wood and put some designs on that wood for us. And they gave us these knives, exacto knives. Yeah, I know, really. And uh, they gave us these exacto knives. And, and here we got these fourth graders carving on wood in school. And my first carving that I had was a wolf. And and, uh, and my um, my mom still has that carving. You know, after all these years, my mom still has that carving at her house. You know, and so um, uh, I want to share this story with you. So I grew up with this story, listening to it. Man, here it is. Neat way on a crew way, yo way kind of neat. Raven was walking along the beach, and at the beginning of time, the world was dark. The stars, the moon, and the sun were kept in boxes by a wealthy old man. He lived at the headwaters of the Nas River. The fishermen of the night told Raven of these treasures. And so Raven went to the house of the old man. Raven went to the house of Nashak Akawu. It was there that Raven, he saw the old man's Nashak Akawu's beautiful daughter. She's drinking water from the stream. And so Raven had a plan. He was going to get the stars, the moon, and sun for all the people of the world. So Raven changed his spirit into a tiny hemlock needle. And when that beautiful daughter went to drink her water, Raven floated down gently and fell in her cup. And when she drank that water, she also swallowed down Raven. 
and soon she became pregnant and gave birth to Raven in the form of a human child. Now everyone loved this child, everyone, except the mother-in-law. You see, it was the mother-in-law, and she knew that this child was really Raven. Had the spirit of Raven there, because if you've ever seen Raven's eyes, they go up, down, back, forth, and all around. And she knew that this child was really Raven. And she said, no, 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 this is Raven, no, don't believe him. And they says, oh, you're just crazy, you're crazy, oh, you're just kind of true. And they say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, oh, just go away. They never, nobody listened to that mother-in-law. And still to this day, you will find that still nobody listens to the mother-in-law. So Raven was going to get the stars, the moon, and sun for all the people of the world. Ah, so that, that baby, that baby raven, he put into the corner of the house the box that contained the, the, the stars, and he began to cry. And the old man, he goes, no, I can't have that box. That baby cried some more. And like all grandfathers, he gave in to him. He took the box down and he placed it in front of his grandchild. He says, now you don't open that box. And that baby just went, so he played on the box. He sat on that box. He danced on that box. And when nobody was looking, what do you think he did? He opened that box, and out of the box flew the stars into the nighttime sky forever. Oh, Cadiz, oh man, my precious objects are gone forever. But he couldn't be mad. He loved his grandchild. Now, this child with the spirit of raven pointed to the other corner of the house, the box that contained the moon, and it began to cry. And the old man goes, no, you can't have that box. And he tried to walk. And so he gave in to him. He took the box that contained the moon, and he placed it in front of his grandchild. Now you don't open that box, he says. And that little baby went, huh? So he played on that box. He sat on that box. He, he danced on that box. And when nobody was looking, what do you think he did? He opened the box, and out of the box flew the moon into the nighttime sky forever. Oh, God, my precious objects are gone forever. But he couldn't be upset with the grandchild. He loved his grandchild. Now, Raven is patient. Raven is very patient. So Raven pointed to the other corner of the house, the box that contained the sun, and he began to cry. And the old man got no, you can't have that box. And that baby cried and cried some more. And still the old man refused. And, no, you can't have that box. And the child cried and cried and cried. And he cried so much that he got sick. And he got so sick that the people thought that he might die. And with the beautiful daughter, she picked up her child and said, Father, is there anything worth more? than the life of your child. Oh, my dear, you're breaking my heart. Oh, le oh, so the old man took the box down that contained the sun and he placed it in front of his grandchild. But this time he goes, oh, my people, all oh, your peoples out there, you watch over my grandchild. You'll make sure he doesn't open that box, no. And all the people, they all just went, they sat there and said, yeah, we can do that. We got you. We got you covered. Yeah, yeah. But Raven's patient. He's very patient. So Raven sat on that box. He played on that box. He slept on that box. And he danced on that box. But then after a while, some of the people, they got tired, so they went to go to, go to sleep. Some of them got hungry, so they went to go get something to eat. And when nobody was looking... What do you think he did? He opened that box, and out of the box flew the sun into the nighttime sky forever. Oh, God, my precious objects are gone forever. Oh, 
Oh, the old man came to the people and Asha Kakao came to the people and says, Oh, my people, I thought I asked you to watch my grandchild. Oh, and all the people, what happened? What happened? All the people could do is just go, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But when nobody was looking, Raven, the child with the spirit of Raven, Raven changed his spirit back into a bird again, and he took the last box, the one that is called the Box of Daylight, and he flew out the smoke hole with it. Oh, my precious objects are gone forever. Oh. Now Raven was walking along the beach, and he had the Box of Daylight with him. He came to those fishermen of the night, the spirits of the night, and they had a fire, and they were cooking a food. And Raven was hungry. You see, Raven's always hungry. Raven came up to them and says, Ah, give me your food. And they looked at him. Oh, you go away. You're going to trick us. Go, go. No, no, we're not going to give you our food. Oh, give me your food. I, I free the stars, the moon, and sun into the nighttime sky. I have the most precious gift of all the world here for everyone. Now give me your food. Oh, and those fishermen in the night, they said, oh, no, go away, go away. And this made Raven mad. So he opened that box just a tad, and the daylight showed itself out just a little bit and put himself back inside the box. Ha, you see, I have the stars, the moon, and the sun. I free the stars, the moon, and the sun. I have the most precious gift in here for everyone. Now give me your food. And still the people, what did the people say? No, give me your food. No, give me your food. No, oh, this made Raven mad. And so Raven, he opened that box. And out of that box, through daylight, throughout the world, Oh, the fishermen of the night, they ran away and hid. Some hid in the sky, some hid in the forest, some hid in the waters. The ones who hid in the sky, they became all the birds of the world. The ones who hid in the forest became all the animals of the world. The ones who hid in the waters became all the creatures of, of the water. Ah, and then there are the ones who stood up straight and tall. And they became the human beings. And they saw their world clearly for the first time. And they marveled at the beauty of it. And this is how Raven brought daylight to the world. But you see, but you see, it was my grandma. My great grandma, she told me, she goes, no, grandson, grandson, every time you hear that story, you always remember that you, you have a gift. You have a gift. And it lives in your heart. Sometimes you just need to open up your heart. Just like open up that box and share your light. Share your light. You are the, the, you are the stars, the moon, and the sun. You are the light of the world. Oh, you are beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, I thank you. Now, now. Go get me a cup of coffee and a donut. Ah. Uh, I heard that song, that story from when I was just a child, little child. And I still take that, I still take that story to heart. You know, because we all have that gift. We are the light. We are the stars, the moon, the sun. We are everything around. We are everything around. And to share that, share that. Just open that box, open up our hearts and share our light. We are the light of the world.
How you guys doing out there? I'm, I'm, I'm taking a look at some of these here, these posts. Uh, see Desiree Cox out there. I'm so, sorry to say your last name, Desiree. You know, thank you, thank you. You know, Yolanda, thank you. Uh, the Native Wellness Institute, we thank you all for coming on and and sharing and watching. I, I have a few more stories that I want to share with you. You know, and um, as we go on and and during this time and and uh, I I just just I'm just really feel blessed to be able to be able to share stories in this way in this way especially now that we you know we're all supposed to to practice the, uh, you know that what do they call that uh, social distancing or whatever I'm not even sure what it is but to have this this way to be able to share these stories and to share some teachings and to share a little bit of, of, of knowledge and all those things, you know, and then so, hey, Melinda, hey, good to see you out there. Holy, how's your kittens out there? Ah, you got two beautiful girls. Holy, they're squat. Yeah, out here and then, uh, uh, Shailene, holy, Jay West. Just, I'm just reading these posts here. My brother Chris, hey, good to see you, brother. Yeah, he's a storyteller too, that guy. He tells beautiful stories about his, his, his grandma, his grandma. Yeah, you know, Jason, there's Jason, hey, brother. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, so I have a few more uh, stories I want to share with you during this time. I know you guys are probably going, what the heck's he reading? I'm just, I'm reading these here things that are they're coming to me. They, it's like, First time I've ever done this thing here. And so it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. I want to share with this. Hey, this here, this beautiful blanket that's, that's, that's behind me. There's a um, uh, brother Preston Singletary. Yeah, yeah. He's a uh, glass glass artist. And this is his design. And, and he had a, a blanket made with that design on it. You know, so my brother Preston, you know, we like to, um, to uh, give a shout out to you, brother. Holy, my wife's like talking to me. She's saying, my dogs are saying hi. That they want to come up and see me. But if I let my dogs up, you know, oh, my whole set here is just going to be like totally just knocked over and, and, and trashed. I'll bring them up a little bit later. But uh, earlier she had them howling downstairs and they were like just, just trying to sing with me as I was singing up here. But I have another story with you. I want to share this one. And I love this story. And this is another story I got from Larry Littlebird. And uh, when I was working with Larry Littlebird out of, out of New Mexico, and, and um, you know, I got to travel around with Larry. We had a, a theater company, Nakahiti Theater Company, and Larry, you know, gathering other people, his theater company down there, and storytellers. And, and uh, uh, I just want to acknowledge a, a brother of mine, you know, Many of us have, have lost loved ones. And one of those things is as I get older, you know, as nobody told me when I was when I was young that as you get older, the magnitude of those who are gonna be passing on, you know, and you know, and death that you experience in your life that you're gonna that's uh you know, nobody really talked to me about that, you know, and and but part of my theater company we had a theater company called um uh Raven sings coyote dances, you know, and I was the Raven, played that part. But I got to get a shout out, man. You know, uh, just can't help but think of my brother uh, John Harmeal, man. Uh, beautiful dancer and beautiful storyteller in his own right. You know, he passed on a few years back from uh, uh, from that brain cancer, and got him. You know, and that stuff that stuff hits you and it hurts. It hurts. You know. Our native people, we had a way of, of, of dealing with, with grief and, and hurt and, and and those things, you know, and it was about uh, coming together and, and acknowledging it. You know, it's, it's, all, it's all part of life. It's all part of life, eh? You know, and, and so um, uh, I just want to share this story, and you know, and, and the story goes like this. There was a young girl. And this young girl, she loved listening to her grandmother tell her stories. She would sit at her grandmother's house 
and listened as her grandmother told her stories about raven, eagle, bear, wolf, killer whale, mouse. But the stories she really loved the most were about how the people were and about her grandfather and about her grandfather. You see, she loved sitting at her grandmother's house and listening to the stories. Because as she walked out of the house and back into the village, she was overcome so many times with just with the hurt, the anger, the pain, the confusion that was going on in the village. So she'd always go to her grandmother's house just to sit there and hear those stories. There was one day when she was at her grandmother's house listening to those stories. Her grandmother said, My granddaughter, reach up there on the counter, on the shelf, and hand me, hand me that little basket, that little basket. And this she did. And when grandmother took that basket, she opened up. Ah, and it was filled with seeds. And she goes, this is all that is left of the old, old ways, our old, old ways, this basket. She put the lid back on and asked her granddaughter to place it back up on the counter, on the shelf. That girl, she walked out of the house that day. And she walked on a trail through the village. And as she walked on that trail, she was overcome with the hurt, the pain, the fears that were going on. And, and she closed her eyes, and as she closed her eyes, she just fell to the side of the trail. As she was lying there, nobody stopped to help her. They just walked by. So a young girl, and she, went, she opened her eyes, and when she looked around, she, she, she looked around, and she saw nothing. The houses, the trees, the water, everything was gone. All that she was surrounded by was just dirt and dust. And a tear came down her face. And when it hit the ground, it bellowed up dust. She was afraid. And then she heard a voice, granddaughter, granddaughter. And she looked around. And in the direction of the voice, there is a faint path in the dust. She started following that path. Granddaughter, granddaughter. And as she started walking further down that path, grass started to grow. Shrubs, bushes, small ones started to grow. Granddaughter. As she walked further, water started to appear from the earth. It turned into a creek. Granddaughter, granddaughter. The shrubs started to turn into small trees. Animals, birds started to fly about. The creek started to turn into a large river. And she walked further and further. Everything was forest. It was lush, green, granddaughter. She heard that voice stronger and stronger and stronger. And as she followed that along the river through the trees, it's as if the trees opened up and allowed her to walk through. And as she walked through those trees, there was a beautiful lake there surrounded by mountains on each side. Snow covered the mountains. Animals were, were all about. And she saw towards the side of the lake there somebody waving her over. Granddaughter, granddaughter. And she walked over and she walked closer. And there, there, she saw an older man, long, white hair beautiful beautiful regalia beautiful beadwork and she got closer she said oh, grandfather oh grandfather she recognized him from the pictures oh grandfather it's so good to see you come here my girl come here oh and they embraced and they held and she he sat her down and says now Oh, granddaughter, tell me, how is your grandmother? Oh, I miss her so. And she told her about the stories and, and how they shared, and she shared with her. And they said, now tell me, grand, how are the people? And at first they, she hesitated. And then she told him about the hurt, the pain, the anguish, the confusion, the anxiety that was going on. 
in the village. And when she was done telling her grandfather about the people, you could see a tear coming down grandfather's face. Granddaughter, I'm going to tell you a story. And when I'm done telling you this story, you need to go back and share it with the people. And at first she goes, no, grandfather, I want to stay here with you. Shh, sit, listen, as I tell you this story. So she sat and she listened. And when he was done telling the story, she understood why she must go back. Now, granddaughter, you just go back and you tell the story. I'm afraid, grandfather. I'm afraid. Just tell the story. And they embraced. They held for a moment that felt like an eternity. And then she walked off. She waved. She walked back through the trees as they closed up. She walked past that river, the animals, the bushes. She walked all the way to the place where everything was just dust. And a tear came down. And when she opened up her eyes, there she was, back in her village. And she looked around. She didn't know what to do. And she heard that whisper, just tell the story. So she went into the middle of the village. And she started to tell the story. And at first, nobody listened. But one by one, the people stopped. One by one, the people started to pay attention. And soon, the whole village was there. And when she was done telling the story, she says, now go to my grandma's and grab me that basket that is on her counter, the last thing left of the people. And this they did. And she took that basket, opened it, and she says, now pass this basket around. And as you pass it around, take a pinch of the seeds out of it. And this they did, everyone. Now with those seeds, feed those who are next to you. And this they did. Now with these seeds, feed those who cannot feed themselves. And this they did. Let the rest take it and feed yourself these seeds. And this they did. And that is when the people started all over again. storytellers. Our life is a story. And we're telling a story just with our presence. So live that story. Live that story. Be that story. You are a storyteller. Yeah. And just tell the story. Holy! You see that? You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to touch your face. I just like wipe my eye with it. My fingers, oh, no, watch out, watch out. Drink water, too. So I wanna, um, we're coming to an end here. We're coming to an end here. And so with that, I just want to, ah, I'll just go into it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,
so good to be here. Holy hot West. So much going on out there in the world. Uh, just want to share you some of my words here. You know, say, oh, day, West. Oh, day. Oh, how do I look out there? Do I look okay? Oh, I put on my this my 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 nice scarf for you. Oh, today, oh, day was. Oh, you see, you see, you you. Oh, that life is too short. We got to laugh. You see, when I was a young girl, they took me away from the village. Took me to a place I used to like to play in the woods, in the trees, chase salmon, eat my foods. Oh, but when they took me away to the schools, they told me that I couldn't be who I was. I couldn't be native. I couldn't eat my food, sing my songs, my words. Oh, see, and dance. Oh, and I just got sour deep inside, deep inside my guts. I tell you what, when you are sour, when you're sour, it's just like a fart. Yeah, you really don't mean it to get on anyone else, but it just does. Yeah, don't be farting on anybody else. That's your own stuff. But I was, I was so sour inside that it just got on everyone else. Holy, I tell you what, I tell you what, and my grandson, he come up to me, grandma, how come you're so sour? Break my heart when he told me that. Oh, so he gave me a hammer. He says, I feel I said, nails going in and out. So he gave me a hammer to pull out those nails. I tell you what, oh, sometimes it takes more than force to stop the hurt. So I just use that hammer on my boyfriend now. I've been married four times, one from each direction. Holy, whoo, ah. Maybe the other directions out there somewhere. Holy, oh. But I tell you what, but it needed like a band-aid. So he gave me that tape, that gray tape that fixed everything. Oh, you know, your refrigerator fall apart, gray tape. Oh, your car fall apart, gray tape. In my age, things just start falling apart. Oh, gray tape, hold things up. But I tell you what, even that gray tape can't fix you. But... My grandma, my, my, my grandson, he says, Grandma, you have hurt in your guts. I said, yeah, I've got something for you. You see, I'm going to share this with you now. I'm going to share this with you now. Uh, I can tell you, it's a book, healing book. I'm going to share this with you. It's called Everyone Poops. Yeah. I'll tell you, because you have hurt in your guts. Listen up. Now, elephant makes big poops. Mouse make tiny poops. You see that? Look at that. Holy. Uh, you ever see one? See that out there? Now, one hump camel make one hump poop. Two hump camel make two hump poops. Holy. Learn something every day. Which one are you? Oh, dear, Wes. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what's here. Now, different animals make different kinds of poops, different shapes, colors, and smells. Look at that. Holy different, different, different. We're all different. Now, I'm going to go to the end of the book. I'm running out of time. You can check this book out at your library. Now, I'll tell you what. All living things eat. Everyone poops. Holy, look at that, look at that, holy. This healing book, life too short. You can't hold that stuff deep inside you. You got to let it go. I tell you what, uh, yeah, you see somebody walking down the street and they look sour, you tell them, holy, you, grandma said you need go poop. Yeah, or maybe you look in the mirror in the morning and you say, holy, look at that. You better go poop. Yeah, you can't hold that stuff in. Life too short. Oh my goodness, especially these times. You, I mean, you could be scared all you want, but it just 
don't do you any bit of good. Reach out and talk to the people so lay, you know. I want to tell you, my children, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. We're going to make it all through this here stuff, you know. Us Indians, we had to deal with this before. Holy. Now, now it's, it seems like everybody is on the res now. Yeah, we're all on the res now. Yeah, welcome to the res. Welcome to the res. Holy. That should be a song. Welcome to the res. Now, with that, uh, I got to go. I got to go now. I mean, I don't got poop. I did that earlier. But I tell you what, you all beautiful. You're all gorgeous, beautiful peoples out there. I love all of you. I love all of you. Holy. Just all, all of you. Much kisses and much love. Oh, okay. Until next time. Maybe later you might have some questions for Grandma. Yeah, I'll come back on and I'll answer your questions. Whatever they may be. Just get hold of Native Wellness Institute with your questions for Grandma. And we'll see what we can do and bring that wisdom out there for you. Oh, I love you all. Holy. And I got to go. Got to go get my grandson now. He'll come back out here. Holy. I'll be right back. Oh, there was. Yo, hey, yo, hey. Well, hey, you, hey, you, hey. Ole. Hey, message from Grandma, Charlie Tailfeather. She's looking for you, J. West. <laughs> hey, my time is up for now. Man, it went by so fast. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for just, just joining in, just to have a little bit of fun, share some spirit out there, share some stories. Remember, you are a story. Your life is a story and you're a storyteller. To continue to share those stories and to be those stories. Holy, my dogs are coming in. You know, and, and so, and, and so uh, with that, I love you all. And again, we're the Native Wellness Institute. We just want to just bring that spirit out to you. And this is sponsored by the Noise Foundation. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your sponsorship. Thank you for everybody out there. You know, our next one is going to be, oh, I forgot. Our next one is tomorrow with uh, Levina. Levina is going to be uh, uh, sharing some, some stuff tomorrow. And I think it's about uh, healing and, and wellness. What's Levina sharing tomorrow? Power Hour, every day, 7 p.m., a week, noon, Pacific, different topics every day, cooking, demos, comedy, workshops, poetry, and more. Tune in each day. Tomorrow is going to be our sister, Levina. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Gonna cheese, gonna cheese, Noise Foundation, gonna cheese, and mostly to you. We'll be okay. Hang in there. High five. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna cheese. Ho, ho. Ah, until next time. Blessings.